Out of Bonavino in to face Garrett Cooper, John Birdie. Huge lead for Birdie again. A false start, and then he runs. First pitch, throwing from his knees. Nino, and he's safe. Cooper's 0 for 2 in a walk today. And takes a fastball from Adovino for a strike. One and one. One to Cooper. And that fastball catches the outside corner at the knees, and Cooper barking at Mark Ripiger about it. It's like the ball's down. That's what he's telling him. Well, our strike box thought it was a strike, but clearly Cooper and Mattingly did not. They caught the plate. Ground ball off Adovino. Plenty of time to recover. And the side retired. Adovino gets a king size down in the seventh to keep the Mets in front. Stretch time at City Field. Mets three, Marlins two. So after he grounded out, he had some words for Mark Ripperger. When you come off the field, you cannot use histrionic gestures and turn and scream about balls and strikes. You can see from the high home camera, Ripperger warned Cooper when he shied the foul line. He continues, does Cooper, and he gets ejected. It's hard to see him turn there, but you can see it. Tells him to knock it off several times, dumps him, and then Don Manley gets shot out of a cannon from the dugout. He hasn't run that fast since he was trying to beat out a base hit to first base when he was a player. He's going to get tossed here. It's pretty clear. And Ripperger's telling him he was yelling at me the whole way from the field, and you're just not going to stop Manley here. He's going to get dumped for his player protecting him. And then Don Mattingly came out to protect his player, and then Ripperger threw him out of the game. What Ripperger said is that Cooper, boy, they are close there. See some of the older managers, they lose their, their partial when they get that close. 